Toyota never decided to make an electric Camry. They should have. It might have saved it from its inevitable death. It's dead now in Japan. Soon, it'll be dead everywhere else. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the channel. It's great to have so many new subscribers. Welcome to all of you. Welcome back, everyone else. And thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon, on our GoFundMe for my wife's cancer treatments, which I'll put a link in the description, and also as a YouTube member. Now, if you want to be a YouTube member, you do get access to many of our videos several days in advance. The link to that page will be in the description as well. Toyota has decided to call it quits on the Camry nameplate in its home market of Japan. After 43 years, the four-door sedan has managed to shift over 21 million units worldwide, with 1.3 million of those in Japan. But domestic consumers just aren't interested in a mid-sized sedan anymore. In fact, many countries around the world are not, as the world kind of moving away from sedans, which they should because they, they kind of suck. I mean, really, they're just so impractical. Now, the world is moving away from sedans to SUVs, mid-sized, large, crossovers, whatever you want to call them, sort of sport utility vehicles, you know, like jacked up station wagons, basically. And yeah, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the big SUV, but I do think that wagons or vehicles like, say, for example, the shape of the Ioniq 5 or the Tesla Model Y, they make a lot more sense than a sedan. But the thing is here, the Camry as an overall shape doesn't really make much sense. But when you combine the fact that it's not electric, it just doesn't have a future. Even Toyota realizes that, which is a bit of a surprise. The local market has moved more towards SUVs and minivans, hatchbacks, crossovers in the last few years. That means the sedan body style is out. In fact, like I said, most places around the world, the same thing has happened. It's even happening in America, which is kind of like the last holdout for sedans. The Camry's similarly aimed brother, the Crown, the Toyota Crown, will soldier on apparently in sedan, SUV and crossover forms. However, Japan has decided no more Camrys. Does that mean no more Camrys in other markets? Well, eventually, yeah. I mean, I don't think this brand will... I mean, I don't personally think the Camry will exist by 2030. I don't personally think a lot of Toyota vehicles will exist by 2030 simply because people won't want them. But that's another story. Nikkei Asia reports that Toyota dealers have already been notified of the Toyota Camry's demise, with production for domestic consumers drawing to a close at the end of the year. Most dealers have already stopped taking orders, with sales being halted in phases. Now, will this be an orphan car? I mean, if you buy a Camry today or next year, will it be a, a product that won't be being sold in, say, five years' time? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, sedans are dying, but so are gasoline-powered cars, so are diesels, so are plug-in hybrids, so are hybrids. They're all dying. So you've got the, it's like a double combination of a double negative here. It's not electric. It's a sedan. Yeah, I don't think if you're going to buy a new car, it wouldn't be very wise to get a Camry for many, many reasons. But those are two pretty good ones. It'll be an orphan. It's gasoline powered. It's unpractical. And it's Toyota. Why support Toyota? That's what I think. Why would you support a company like this who is actively fighting against a clean electric transformation? and just spreading so much misinformation and lies that they know are just complete nonsense. Fans of the Camry outside of Japan though, well, you can not worry too much if you're a fan, at least for a couple of years. They will continue to sell them for the foreseeable future until the same thing happens wherever you are. In the US, the Camry ranked as the best-selling car for 15 consecutive years from 2001. However, that has completely changed now. The current generation appeared to North American customers in 2017. And United States customers, Canadian customers, will have a new revised model that's expected to take styling cues from the Toyota Crown crossover and from the latest Toyota Prius. It's true that many consumers in the US are opting for SUVs though, and crossovers over the humdrum sedan, the Camry is expected to hold out for now, though, just as its direct competitor, the Honda Accord, received a major update last year. Now, I should point out, you American consumers, though, the Accord and the Camry losing sales pretty much everywhere, right? 
it's only a matter of time. Production will also continue apparently in China where the Camry is still considered an aspirational vehicle, say some journalists, don't know about that, among those in the Southeast Asian region. Now, China, Southeast Asia, kind of, yeah, yeah, sure, they're one and the same thing, but not really. People perceive Southeast Asia as being more countries like Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, Laos, Cambodia, etc. Yeah, in those countries, uh, the Camry, ah, actually, to be honest, I've spent a lot of time in those countries over the past few years, and I don't think the Toyota Camry is aspirational at all. I would say EVs are more aspirational now. That's the perception that I'm seeing, but I could be wrong. Now, there were 600,000 Toyota Camrys sold last year. This year, though, that number is going to drop massively. The following year, who knows? Really, I see this as a lot like Nokia. There was a year there with a Nokia 3310 or whatever it was called. Remember that, that phone? It just crushed the market. People loved it. How long did it take for people to forget that it even existed? Not very long. What are your thoughts? How long do you see the Toyota Camry lasting? I'm going to go out and predict, here's my year, 2028. That's the year, final year for the Toyota Camry. Yeah, I know they sold 600,000 last year, but like I said, times change fast. What's yours? What's your year? Let me know in the comments. Oh, do you think the Camry will last forever? I hope you don't. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.